I'm your storyteller, Shu Xiao 老师 Have you ever tried to tell a story to your friends in English? Do you know how to make a story dramatic and exciting? In today's episode, I'm going to introduce you a structure for storytelling. You may find this structure useful for retelling the story of Mencius' mother moves three times. Furthermore, you may find this structure handy when it comes to creating your own story. Would you be interested in trying this out? I'm confident that it will prove to be helpful with your writing. I'll be very interested in reading the stories you make. Thus, I'm now happily inviting you to share your stories with me. Let's wait no more. Get started and see how far we can go. A good story needs a lock. L stands for lead. 主人公，故事的主角，推动故事发展的主要参与者。人物的塑造对于一个故事来说至关重要。多少人喜欢一个故事，是因为喜欢其中的人物呢？ O is an objective. 目标，主人公的目标，愿望，或者是使命。这个目标可大可小。《西游记》中，师徒四人去西天取真经，这就是他们的使命。《麦琪的礼物》中 ，Jim 和 Della 想要给彼此一个惊喜，这也是一个目标。C means conflict. 冲突。一个好的故事需要一个甚至几个设计精妙的冲突，来让读者产生悬念，甚至为主人公捏一把汗。And K stands for knockout. Knockout 这个词本意是击倒。拳击比赛中所说的 KO 就是 knockout， 在这里是指强有力的最后一击。给听故事的人留下深刻印象，让人回味无穷。Knockout 可以是顺其自然的结局，也可以是故事最后产生了出乎意料的转折，或者故事的隐含的主旨在最后凸显，达到升华的效果。What we are about to do next is to retell the story of Mencius' mother moves three times by using lock system. 接下来，让我们套用 Lock 系统的模式，重新讲述孟母三迁的故事。First, we need to know the L, the leading characters in this story, Mencius and his mother. 人物要是塑造的成功，应该要介绍他的个性和背景 ，characteristics and backgrounds， 让读者更多的了解人物。这样能让读者产生共鸣和代入感，从而使故事更加生动、感人。They lived in the Warring States period, a chaotic time in ancient China. When Mencius was very young, his father died, and his mother relied on weaving to support her family. The place they lived was near a cemetery. Mencius and the neighborhood children. Used to learn the prostrations and the wailing of the mourners, and to play mourning games. In Mencius' mother's opinion, this place was a terrible influence on children. We understand that Mencius' childhood was not happy. His mother lived with him, and the environment around him was very bad. Mencius' mother did everything she could to provide a good environment for him. Mencius' mother did everything she could to provide a good environment for him. As every mother would do. After moving to be near a school, Mencius didn't focus on study. He was like a regular child, not very persistent when it came to school. 能看出孟母对孩子的用心良苦，也能看出孟子年少时也是个普通的孩子。刚开始上学还高高兴兴，但是时间一长就厌烦了。这让读者更能认可角色和他们的行为。所以，对这个故事更加有代入感。Now, what is the O objective that appeared in the story? 
。那么出现在这个故事中的目标是什么呢 ？The ultimate goal of Mencius' mother was to guarantee a bright future for Mencius, and that's why she moved again and again until she found the place near a school. 在故事中，孟母的目标就是希望孟子能有个光明的未来。为了这个目标，他一再的搬家。Apparently, she doesn't want Mencius to have anything to do with the funeral industry, and doing business or becoming a butcher does not satisfy Mencius' mother either. 因为从事丧葬行业、做生意和当屠夫。在孟母看来，都不是有出息的行当。And here comes the C conflict. 下面就是如何布置冲突了。There was a conflict, which perhaps could more accurately be described as a mismatch between Mencius' mother's expectation and the terrible living environment. This mismatch was resolved. Already, after moving three times, then readers start to realize that the major conflict occurred when Mencius got tired of school. When they first moved to be near a school, Mencius started to go to school happily. However, after a while, he grew dissatisfied and started to play truant. 当孟子开始逃学时，真正的冲突。才显现出来，就像许多母子之间存在的问题，望子成龙的期待和怒其不争的现实。Now readers will probably feel sorry for Mencius' mother because her unceasing efforts to move house seem to be all in vain. 读者们此时是否会为孟母感到惋惜？三次搬家的努力，最后可能是。竹篮打水一场空。And finally, we reach the K, knockout. On one of these occasions, when Mencius returned home, his mother, who was weaving at the time, saw that he had come home early, and knew that he was playing truant. Angrily, she picked up a pair of scissors, and cut the piece of cloth she had been weaving. The story comes to its climax at this point. Readers must be worried and nervous, wondering what will happen next. 故事由此来到了高潮，读者们此时的心提到了嗓子眼，都想知道接下来会发生什么样的事情。Mencius was in shock. He couldn't believe that his mother cut the cloth into two, for that's what they depended on to survive. Then he finally realized how his playing truant had broken his mother's heart. So Mencius knelt before his mother, bursting into tears. He confessed his mistakes and promised that he would never play truant again. From then on, Mencius devoted himself to his studies, and eventually became the representative of the Confucian school of philosophy. Ranking as the second sage to Confucius himself, Mengzi, 体会到了母亲的不易，理解了他的良苦用心，才能从此发奋努力，最终成为亚圣。All right, that will be all for today's episode. 接下来，大家就可以运用我们的 lock 结构来创造自己的故事了。对于故事选材，我们有一点小小的要求：选择一个你喜欢的人物，可以是你的朋友，也可以是某个名人。在塑造人物的时候，让我们想想，这个人物有什么值得学习、令人钦佩的品质呢？他有什么样的目标？故事中遇到的障碍或者冲突是什么？以及最终又是以什么样的方式解决了这个问题，完成了自己的目标？最后。这样一个故事又能教会我们什么样的道理 ？Come on, don't hesitate. Start to write your own story and share it with us. Thanks for watching. Bye.